Peter Attia, who is the number one expert in longevity and health, says this. I think exercise is the single most important longevity drug we have, bar none. And so we all know that exercise is fantastic for our health, helping us live longer and better, but is there a type of exercise that is the most effective at doing this? Well, fortunately, in the last couple of years, we've got research that gives us way more information on this topic. So in this video, I'm gonna show you which type of exercise is the most effective at helping you not only live longer, but reducing disease and so living a better life. And make sure you stick to the end to find out my recommendations on how much of each type of exercise you should be doing to get the maximum benefit. And I don't think it's gonna be as much as you think. Let's begin. Hello and welcome back to the channel where we're all about helping you live your best life. My name is Dr. Stephen Hume. If you haven't met me, I'm a chiropractor in the UK. And in this video, I want to look at exercise, which type of exercise we should be focusing on to help us live longer and better as we age. So in general, we have three types of exercise. We've got the aerobic exercise, or otherwise known as cardio, which is essentially where we are strengthening or challenging our cardiovascular system. So our ability for our heart to pump blood around our body to fuel our cells so that we continue to do certain exercises for a length of time, like walking, cycling, or running. Strength training, which is basically where we're just challenging our muscles so that they break down and they're reformed to become stronger. Now the principle, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. It's very, very true when it comes to the muscular system, because even though we can achieve a certain strength of muscle at a certain age, if we don't continue to challenge those muscles and use them, over time our bodies will say, well, we're not using them, so we'll just reduce the muscle mass or the strength to basically make our bodies more efficient in what we are actually doing. So maintaining strength training is important to be able to maintain your strength. And number three, we've got stretching, where we are keeping our muscles, tendons, ligaments, fascia, flexible so we can continue to move our joints through its full range and therefore continue doing those aerobic and strengthening exercise. So before I begin, all three of course are really, really important, but is there one that's more important, particularly when it comes to longevity? Well, here is the research. So the first article I'm gonna look at is a systematic review, which is basically where we look at a whole collection of papers to see is there a general conclusion. And this particular one was done last year where they were specifically looking at strength training and mortality rate, and is there an association? And they did find that there was a 27% reduction in those that were doing around 60 minutes per week. So this shows that strength training is important and does reduce mortality, but how does this compare to aerobic exercise? Well, in this second study, they looked at the comparison between these two types of exercises, and they observed around half a million of US adults, and they found that aerobic exercises reduces mortality, which is something I think most of us know, but by adding in strengthening, further reduced mortality at a significant rate. Now the question is, by how much? Well, this is where the third study comes in because here we get some more numbers. So in this one, they observed 100,000 adults over a number of years and they compared three things. The first one, they looked at aerobic exercise, so those only doing aerobic exercise, those only doing strengthening exercises, and then those doing a combination of both. So this is where it gets really interesting because what they found was that those that were doing aerobic exercise only had a 32% reduction in mortality rate. So how does this compare to strengthening? Well, those that were doing strengthening only found a 20% reduction in their mortality rate. Now this is interesting because when we did this poll, most of you thought that strength training was the most important. And this is actually something I initially thought before looking into this. But the reason why I think we've had this assumption is because of this third group. So those that did aerobic and strength training found a 41% reduction in mortality rate. So it is the addition of strength training that gives us a huge benefit or significant benefit 
in regards to longevity compared to doing one or the other. So the initial thought may have been that strength training isn't gonna be much different to aerobic. They're both a form of exercise. It doesn't really matter what type you're doing. Well, it is actually finding that number one thing to do is aerobic still, but if you combined it with strength training, you're gonna get an even greater effect. Now, one big reason why muscle training is important is because of its role in glucose metabolism. So whenever you eat food and the sugar goes into your blood, there's a hormone called insulin that comes in to take that sugar out of your blood so that you can modulate the blood sugar levels. And that's super, super important because if they become too low or too high, to, to the extreme, you could die. But as it takes it away from your blood, it has to put it somewhere. And one of those places are your muscles. So if you have less muscles in your body, you're gonna have less place to put your sugar and making it harder for your body to modulate your blood sugar levels. It is estimated that as you get to around 70, you will lose around a quarter of your muscle mass. And as you get to around 90, you'll lose around a half of your muscles. So it is super important that as you age, as you come closer to those years, that you need to do some strength training to maintain those muscles, because they're not only important for movement and allowing you to get around, which is important for helping you live longer, but also for glucose metabolism, as well as a whole bunch of other things that I haven't gone through in this video. So generally in regards to health, it is super important. So lastly, as I promised at the beginning, how much should you do of each one. Now in one of these studies, it was recommended that you need to do at least one hour of aerobic exercise per week to get some significant benefit. Less than that may not be worth your time. So at least one hour of aerobic exercise and they found that the maximum benefit to effort ratio was around three hours. Now, of course, more than that will give you more benefit, but if you get six hours, it's not necessarily gonna be double the benefit compared to three hours. So I would recommend anywhere between one to three hours based on the research that we've just looked at. And in regards to strength training, one study looked at people that did it around one to two times a week, and another study they did 60 minutes a week. So I would, based on that, recommend one to two times a week at around half an hour each time. And of course you can do more than that, but if you were to do that, combined it with around three hours of aerobic exercise, which actually isn't a huge amount, that could be around half an hour each day, you could get around 41% reduction in mortality, reduction in your risk of getting disease, which is then gonna give you a better quality of life as you get older. Because if you're getting older and you live to 90 or 100, but you're living to those ages with disease that is crippling you or disabling you, that is obviously not a nice way of living longer. So we want quality and longevity. Now, if you're interested in longevity, then exercise combined with nutrition is super important. And in fact, if you do exercise without the nutrition, you may actually not get these effects at all. One super easy hack that I found is that if you eat your food in the correct order, you can get a huge benefit in regards to your health. If you're interested in that, I'll highly recommend that you check out this video here that I did recently on eating your food in the right order, where I go through what this order is and the impacts this can have on your body. Thank you again for watching. If you have liked this, then hit that like button below and I'll see you hopefully over there or my next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.